I just arrived on a red eye into Beijing, China. And this is the Forbidden City. Looks like it's under repair and renovation, much like St. Paul's Cathedral in Italy a year ago, more than a year ago now. I can't tell if this is just the muggy weather and it's overcast, or whether this is the pollution and the smog that everyone told me to bring a mask. Bring a mask more. Quite crowded here. It's a good Friday. Somehow I found myself in the Forbidden City, but not quite through. I just went through security just to get into what I thought was Tiananmen Square. That's across the street. This is the the, the gate, heavenly gates, and back there is the Forbidden City. It's pretty strictly monitored with a lot of police, and, I, and like I said, I had to go through security to get to here. Large, wide roads, though. Tiananmen Square. We got a street in between. That's the national flag. Then you have the Monument of People. You have the National Museum of China up there on the left. This is another government building here on the right. It's interesting. You can actually drive all the way all the way around Tiananmen Square. I'll go in uh, through the underground to get across the street, and I'll take a look at what the screens are. I'm in Tiananmen Square. In front of these large, well, gigantic digital media screens. Just came through the security channel there in front of the National Museum of China. There's no real place to sit down. That's where everyone's sort of squatting on the ground. No park benches. I guess they don't want you to linger. There's a forbidden city over there. It's quite big. 